Hello everyone! We finished up talking about the leveling zones, which means that only Sudomar, locked away behind Max level, is left to discuss. Ketgar has found a magical message in a bottle and is waiting for us to decide what to do. Nobody touch it! Not until our guest arrives. Oh, Any man. disturbance should catalyze the sequence. Just uh, give it a poke or something. Ethel Kanesh. I am Thalysra of the Shaldurai, the Nightborn, first arcanist in the court of Suramar. My people have made a dire pact, one that spells doom for this world. Time is short. If you have found this message, you are capable of finding me as well. Make haste for Suramar. You may be our last hope. Ithnala Kanesh. A magical message slipped right beneath the Legion's nose. The Nightborn could prove to be powerful allies against the Legion, so we must aid this Valistra if we can. By tracking her magical echoes, we discovered what she did after sending the message, and we eventually track her down while she's dealing with some withered. Anratha Adore. Wrath Anutanos! We must take care. The Withered Ones prowl this area, ravenous in their hunger for magic and flesh alike. Such is the fate of Nightborn, who cannot drink of the Nightwell. This is my fate as well. Unless... Look out! Irath Omnas! Get them off the barrier! My strength is fading. We must find shelter. <coughs> I... I need a moment. Get them off the barrier! There are so many. Strange. Why do they not follow? I need to rest. Ten thousand years ago, my city was radiant. The jewel of the Night Elf Empire. Suramar. Our people prospered for centuries. Until the Legion came. Entranced by the power they offered, our queen betrayed us to the ruin of the world. As destruction drew ever closer, a desperate choice was made. To conjure a powerful shield that would save our beloved city. It worked. Centuries passed. Without moonlight, Without sunlight, to survive, we turn to the Nightwell, a font of great power in the city's heart. Slowly, it changed us, and ultimately drew the Legion once more to our gates. They offered us a trade. The Nightwell for our lives. As the Elders planned their surrender, some of us rebelled. We failed. Now the Devils have taken Surama. And by the curse of the Nightwell, I am damned to wither away. My city burns. We must find a way to reclaim Suramar city. But first, Valistra needs to feed, so we collect some mana crystals from Shalaran and we take out Keeper Silencia. From this cinematic, we learn a lot about the history of the Nightborn, and as we've seen with Runas in Azuna, when a Nightborn is exiled and cut from the powers of the Nightwell, they change into Nightfallen, and if they fail to feed themselves, they devolve even further into something called a Wither. Can you hear me, my friend?
<laughs> I, I, I cannot see you anymore. <laughs> I think perhaps it is time to say goodbye then. Thank you, my friend. For letting my last few hours mean something. The Nightwell was created with the use of a pillar of creation, the Eye of Amon Fool, the last one that we need to collect. And being dependent on the well is very similar to what happened with the High Elves' Blood Elf story arc when Arthas corrupted their sun well. Once the Night Fallen hit the Wither stage, there's no going back. So standing up against Alessandra like Felistra had, that took a lot of courage to do. She saw that Gul'dan's offer of lowering the shield and joining the Legion was not a good idea, but her rebellion was cut short and she was stabbed in the back. And now it's up to us to help her with freeing Sudamar from the the Legion's control and overthrowing Alessandra. First things first though, preventing Falistra from turning. What is this place? This chamber. I have never seen anything like it. So dark. In Allah! Much better. Old teleporters. Not so different from the ones in Suramar City. Seems they are inactive. Let us explore downstairs. Watch your step. Strange. The floor looks like a map. And we are at the center. One thing is certain, ley line energy is being fed into this chamber from elsewhere. What could have required such power? A weapon, perhaps? And those keepers protecting it. How long their vigil must have been. <sighs> I have more questions now than before. For now, at least we know the Withered have learned to avoid this place. And nobody from the palace would think to search for us here. It is a perfect refuge, a temporary home, until I can return to Suramar. But first, I will need allies. The first ally we're going to try and recruit is an old colleague of Felistra called Arcanist Keldenov. She was actually on her way to Amberville in hopes of finding him when we found her dealing with the Withereds. Keldenov was fascinated by them. He studied them for years, hoping to calm their feral nature or even find a cure. When one of his subjects escaped and ran amok in the royal gardens, Keldenov was ordered to cease his research and kill all the Withered in his possession. He refused and for that was exiled from the city. If he still lives, he is near Withered, and Withered are drawn to old settlements like Embervale. When we reach the area, we don't find the Arcanist, but we do find his research notes. Day 5. Wards prove effective at deterring the Withered, but do nothing for the cacophony of critters and beasts outside. The nights are so loud out here. I relish what little sleep I can manage. Tomorrow I begin looking for subjects. Day 9. Still no luck in communicating with the Withered. I must regard this failure not as a measure of ability, but a measure of progress. Day 14. The new subject, number 16, is special. His arcane essence is touched by some mysterious power. I have named him Theron. Day 16. Breakthrough. Using Theron's essence as the base, I have crafted a spell that calms the withered. At least, it works sometimes. Day 24. I woke to a night elf's blade at my neck. He asked what I was doing to the withered. Searching for a cure, I replied. He merely grunted and disappeared into the woods. Day 33. Low on Arkwine. Theron making excellent progress. Shallan remains stubborn. Crystals becoming harder to find. Day 40. A massive Etten trampled through my workshop at Coraloon Manor. Scared him away with magic. I have a feeling he will be back. Day 50. The sky has turned black. Demons everywhere. And this hunger. 
This endless hunger. Subjects released. I can no longer protect them. My spell stone. Someone, please, use it to carry on my work. Killed enough, did his very best to survive on his own, but eventually he ran out of wine, man of the feet upon, and he turned into the very thing that he tried to save. We put him out of his misery, we collect his research notes and his spellstone, and then subject 16, Ferrin, the one that he was talking about, shows up, still under the effects of the Arcanist spell. Since we couldn't bring back Keldenov himself, a live subject matter could be useful in helping Falistra unravel his research, and even better than that, it can help her create an army of the exiled, focused on nothing but helping us destroy and murder everything in our path as we take them through the training grounds, we pick some treasure along the way, and we try to make it all the way to the end to get that sweet Sweet hidden protection artifact skin. One day. These poor things have been through enough today. Another ally Felistra has in mind is Chief Telemancer Oculuf, the man who developed Sudomar's teleportation network. Oculuf had a workshop in Old Sudomar from the age before the Sundering, so before the shield went up, and he might have taken refuge there. So we're sent out with a coin to show off our allegiance. That is far enough. What is up? Well, that? you are not from the palace, and you are no demon, at least not entirely. Identify yourself before I teleport you to the depths of the Great Sea. What is this? A coin? The sign of the Dusk Lily. This is the first Arcanist seal! Is she alive? Then there is still a chance. Come quickly! I need your help! Ah! Right, the trap. Nethana! Fun fact, if you don't identify yourself in time, he will actually teleport you across the zone. We may deliver him to Falistra once his work here is complete. He didn't have the time to gather his instruments before fleeing the palace, so we get to use his teleportation network while also collecting a weathered telemancy beacon and a cracked warp sleeve from the workshop. As we use the pads, some curious things start to happen. Something is wrong. I have lost your position. Wherever you are, it is unstable. The telemancy will not hold long. A curious discovery, but you will not find the equipment we need in there. Strange. It should not have sent you there. Hang on, I am recalling you. Someone else is tampering with the network. Telemancy is a delicate art! There is no room for amateurs! Someone is messing with the teleportation network, and after bringing him his tools, Oculuf wants to lock down the facility. Otherwise, his esteemed colleagues from the palace, they could uncover his secrets, which puts any teleporters that he builds in the future at risk. Within a secret test chamber beneath the mountain, we discover why the teleportation network was malfunctioning. Here we are, my old sanctuary. Strange. The defenses are offline. Intruders! How did they get in here? This coil taps into the ancient ley lines. Crank it up to full power. Good. If we overcharge enough coils, the entire system will fail safe into a lockdown. There are more coils in the chamber below. And more intruders, I imagine. Thwen. I should have recognized your uniquely oafish meddling on my network. My, my. You look rather gaunt, honored teacher. Are you eating enough? <laughs> you should be proud. Your handiwork is going to help us reclaim every corner of our ancient lands. I can deal with Thwen. You overload the coils. As we overload the coils, Twen and Oculif, they have a magical fight in the air. The student has youth and a solid connection to the Nightwell behind her, but Oculif is not easily beaten, and he has some tricks up his sleeve. Ugh! Face it, old man. I have surpassed you. Good trick. <laughs> Warping the space around your body like that. But what if that space is already unstable? My warp field is not working! Where have you taken us? 
unstable space. No, this place, it must bend to my will. Unratha Antalthandros! Twen always took magic too lightly. She was a terrible student. <coughs> May I your past be clear. <laughs> I will get us as close as I can. Come close. Oculus wasn't kidding when he said that we could deliver him to Felistra since we literally have to pick him up and carry him inside. Using all that power has put him on a path into withering, but we're not letting him slip away today as we feed him some delicious ancient mana. Not withering today it seems. It's time to re-establish the first secure connection in our teleportation network. With beacon in hand, we go to the ruins of Elunef above us and we survey the area to find a suitable location. Some telespatial anomalies and wartime ripples might take place, but nothing we can't handle. And with our survey complete, we place the beacon at the most optimal location. And with that, our anchor is set. Two-way connection established. Use it freely, the distance is short, so it requires very little power. Now we can begin to restore the ancient network. If you find any of my old beacons out there, be sure to activate them. With Ocula at our side, we've gained a powerful advantage with being able to teleport all over Sudamar. All you have to do is find the old beacons and we're good to go. Now another vital tool in our rebellion will be gain the ability to tap into the magical ley lines beneath Sudamar. These arcways were built to tap into them, but as the Nightborn learned to subsist on the night well, the old facilities fell out of use. The chamber that we turn into our base is clearly receiving power from elsewhere. There's only a trickle right now, but if we can drag more leyline energy here, it will help to sustain them. The closest source is to the north, and there we find Voltois, who had the same idea. You there! Outlander! Be a deer, and step on that other switch, will you? There we are. Open at last. Well, I will be killing you now. Any last words? Shalasan Tora. Aran Arcana. Ah, I recognize that symbol. So Thalissera has recruited an outlander to our cause. Are we truly so desperate? Oh, very well. I am Valtois. Out here, so far from the Nightwell, we must settle for any source of magic we can find. It seems Thalissera and I had the same idea. The old ley line feeds might keep us alive, if barely. We just have to wake them up. The station has fallen into disrepair, the circuit is broken, and to mend it, we must recharge the seals in the central chamber. By lining up the right beams, we're able to charge the moon, star, beast, and elven seal in the lay station. It is done! The station is back online. Refined ley line energy will flow from here to Shalaran. The arcane is in- You are dismissed. I will make my own way to Shalaran. With leyline energy feeding in the chamber, our base can begin to awaken. It will be a slow process, and we must take care to mask this activity from our enemies, a process which itself requires enormous effort and focus. Furthermore, there's a conundrum of actually consuming the mana in this form. A stream too weak is not enough to provide substance, but too powerful and it will vaporize them. There is much work to be done yet. And Valtois, you would be wise not to turn your nose up at the outsiders. None of us would be here without their help. Of course, First Arcanist. Come, we can examine the feed from down here. Do you have much experience with leyline energy? I should think not. Allow me to educate you on the fundamentals. Far below us, Rivers of raw arcane power course throughout the land. The ley lines are eternal, primal, and impossible to control. However, just as one pulls thread from cotton, so too can we draw power from the ley lines. See here, this is the feed from Anora, and there are many others still lying dormant. Restore them and help us create a new locus of power here in Shalaran. 
Like the teleportation network, we also go around activating pillars to send more Leyland energy into Shalaran. We have to figure out a way to turn that pure magic into something that the Nightfallen can feed on. But before we do that, let's first find some more allies. A rebellion and having an army will go a long way, but we also need context from within Sudomar itself. Elasan's decision to welcome the Legion into Sudomar, it earned her plenty of enemies, though only some were bold enough to openly defy her. We do have allies in the city, we just don't know how many, so our first contact is Silgrim. Farewell. Falisra lives? Come, let us talk in private. Many Nightborn have pinned their hopes on Falistra for disposing the Grand Magistrix. Since he disappeared, dissenting voices have also grown silent. We must spread the word discreetly among the populace. Now Lylef Lunastre, she will be a perfect ally in all of this. She is a socialite with many connections and she's no friend of the Legion. She's currently hosting a little mask raid party at her estate where rumors are traded like coin and brandished like daggers. What better way to make contact as we invite ourselves in? Enchanted masks. Simply don the mask, and a magical costume will envelop your body. It should be enough to fool the other guests, but stay clear of the guards. I will find Lilith. You stay out of trouble. Just enjoy the party for a bit. You know, mingle. We mingle all right by talking to some of the guests and ask them what they think of Gul'dan and the Legion. Surely Gul'dan will betray them. How could they be free within the Legion's shadow? Is there nobody left who will stand up to Alessandra? Most find our whispers scandalous, but after talking to enough guests, we're invited to join Lady Lilith at the table behind the house. This is not up for debate, Anaris. You are either with us or against us. Choose wisely. I will hear no more of your scheming. You endanger everything our father worked for! Oh, dear child. Do you not realize what he died for? Anaris Lunastre is either a male or a female, depending on what gender your character is. And as Lila's darling sister or brother has demonstrated, Elisson's decision to bring down the shield has sown unrest amongst the Nightborn. Loyalists and demons now march together in the streets. Fear and distrust grip their hearts. Family turns against family. Lilith will help Felistra with her new rebellion, but we must first deal with Anaris. Her older sister does not wish to spill the blood of her blood, only to help her see reason, so we're asked to go to the father's memorial and bring her back alive. Get away from there! You have come to help Lilith destroy our family! Be gone! The memorial for their father, it says, Ranfos Lunastre, head of House Lunastre, father of Lilith and Anaris, died in honorable service to Grand Magistrix Alessandre. The details are unclear, but considering Lilith's reaction, it seems like the memorial is a flat out lie and it was someone from Alessandre's side that caused his death. Either way, their family commands great respect in the city thanks to their father. Through their network of contacts, we can organize the citizens to prepare Sturemar for Felistra's return. She wants to preach her traitorous ideals to me further? Fine, let us go. Yes, Ananora. <laughs> Someone will notice I am missing. They will come looking for me. True, you will have to make an appearance. We will have to walk among the Nightborn and earn the trust of friends and foes alike. That won't happen, looking like the outsiders that we are, so we use the mask of mirror image to copy the image of Anaris and use Lila's sister to walk among the people and work against Alessandra. The mask is strong enough to fool most people, but we have to be careful of the guards and demons. An illusion! What are you hiding? To put a disguise to the test, we first make contact with Vantir, a merchant from the common district. We tell him to pay Lilith a visit regarding a shipment of dust lily pods. Oh, I see. Please excuse me. I must address this immediately. Vantir understands that we are not who we seem to be, and now they'll simply need time to prepare. We return to Falistra with a bottle of faintly glowing fluid, some delicious arc wine to keep the withering at bay. The Lunastra family is well connected, and they'll be a great help to us when the time comes. The pieces are placed on the board, and the rebellion against Alessandra and the Legion is picking up. There's still much work to be done, and then there's the problem of creating a suitable, steady supply of mana for the Nightfallen, but those are concerns that we'll talk about next time, since I've been going on for long enough. For now, thank you very much for watching everyone, subscribe if you like my videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and until next time guys, see ya!